Good morning. Day 54. Run is done. And I'm on here. Crap, I left my phone over here. What the hell was I thinking? All right. I did it, guys. This morning, I did it. Under 10 minute average one mile pace. <sighs> Think on November 7th, I started at over 16 minutes a mile pace. So I've knocked six minutes off. Holy crap. I think it helped because it's like 70 today and uh, or this morning. And so I've got all the extra garb off. I'm lighter, sleeker, faster. Only problem with that is, see how cloudy it is? Because when it warms up and it gets more humid, that's what we start with in the morning instead of the sun. And I love the sun, but I love this weather too. So I guess it's uh, the least of two evils. I'll take the heat. All right, time to ride. All right, guys. Day 54 workout is done. Ah, busy morning this morning. First thing this morning, we have a sponsorship call. So who knows? Maybe we'll be adding another state um, to support bikers. Speaking of support bikers and states, guys, um, if you ever worked at something really hard and then you start to see it work and it's just like, duh. So that's what support bikers is doing right now. When I go in and I see people in there going, hey, we should all meet up and go for a ride. Or, hey, I need a tow. And somebody's like, I got a trailer, I'll come help you. Um, I've got a small business. And there's 300 comments under this small business of people asking a price and wanting stuff. Um, that, that was the dream of support bikers. And that, is exactly exactly what is happening um, everybody is getting to know each other they're getting to trust each other and uh, support each other and that that was the dream from the very beginning so to see it like coming through watching it grow every day um, people reaching out and saying hey man we support you we really like your mission we like what you guys are about um, and how can we help um, that that is the ultimate um, compliment you can give us um, and just to see it working is like the ultimate high for me I know it is for Angie for Amy for mom for Windroad for Toby Northern um, for all of us that work at this all the time um, to <sighs> everybody that is part of sport bikers guy started up a car next to me um this is their dream too and they're watching it come true so anyway guys thank you um for all your support as always i better get in and get my coffee i earned before i have that first meeting we'll see you in a few all right got a call from my post office i got mail sounds like a good reason to take a ride box oh it's from spring i bet it's my new route 66 hat Ooh, i can't wait to get home and check it out hi guys so i'm super excited um teespring who makes our t-shirts and all direct uh, mail basically they make them and send them to you they just started doing hats and so they're embroidered um, which is harder than printing right and uh so we're like, I wonder what quality their hats are. Well, I told Granny Ma Badger to throw the hardest logo we could find at them to see if they can do it. So we sent them the Route 66 logo to put on a hat. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Let's go check it out. All right, guys. So as I said, outside, um, Teespring makes our shirts, and they just started making hats. And uh, so embroidery is pretty tough. Um, and we're like, I wonder what kind of quality they do. 
So I told Granny Ma to send them our Route 66 logo, which I'll po post right here. It's pretty detailed, right? So um, let me preface this with Granny Ma does not think this is going to be good. <laughs> she made that very, very evident when I told her to order it. She's like, they're not going to be able to do it. I'm like, just order the damn thing and let's see. So, the moment of truth has come. Yeah, see, it did not turn out. Granny Ma was right. So you can see the Badger Route 66, um, but you cannot see, oh, you can see a hand and the passport, but um, this does not look like this. So anyway, they failed. And I got a new hat. Passport Run 2023 with the Badger logo on it. There you go. They could not do it. It was too complex. But it does look like they did a decent job on the Badger and the 66. So if you had a regular logo, they could probably do it. Um, but this one has smoke and everything else involved in it, and they could definitely not do that. So, there you go. Teespring test of their embroidery skills on a hat. What did turn out doesn't look too bad. I'll show it to Granny Ma because she's like the resident expert in um, embroidery. So, we'll see what she has to say, and then I'll let you guys know. Hi, guys. I actually got the hat on. Um, I forgot to mention, it does say supportbikers.com on the back. Um, so the hat itself, I really like the hat. The hat fits good, um, it's comfy, um, like the hat. The embroidery, if it were a less complicated um, logo, I think they would have done great. So we'll probably do the Badgers um, Route 66 logo on one of these and then just the Badger Support Bikers logo on one of these. But they will be available at some point in our store if you're a hat wearer, like I am. Especially since I don't wear a helmet, it keeps my hair from getting all ratted up and crap. Anyway, so they didn't do a good job on the stitching of the logo and didn't bother to tell us that, hey, this kind of looks like crap. So they get a thumbs down. The quality of the hat, I really like. Shipping time, it took them about maybe two and a half weeks from the time we ordered it till it showed up at my door. That's not bad. So um, I'm gonna give them like a like two stars. I'd probably give them a little more if it weren't just for the fact that they're like, they didn't even like tell us that, hey, we didn't even get all your logo in there. But um, anyway, so there's my review on Teespring's um, Hat embroidery. All right, guys, back to your normally scheduled programming. All right, guys, big weekend here at the Badger Den. So I got the parts I was waiting on for Harley, the valve seals, and they actually look like they might be right. I haven't tested it out just from looking at it. They look like they might be right, which I have tried and tried and tried to get the right ones. So it took a master tech to come up and look at the book and figure out what valve seals I needed. So fingers crossed, I got silver parts. Now I have a new ECM for the Jeep. It's in the house, it's gotta go in. And then uh, you heard earlier all the things I need to do to red. So hopefully this weekend I can knock all of that out because Mama Badger's working in her bathroom. So we went and got some chemical stripper to do some stripping and she's gonna do some painting this weekend. And next weekend she's gonna get new sinks and new faucets and oh my, and I've gotta do the sinks and faucets. So I need to get all my stuff done this week, but I'm super excited because I think I got the right part, but uh, I'll let you know tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow.